Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about the properties of numbers. In this video, we're going to be identifying parts of an expression. We're going to simplify using the distributive property. We're going to apply the distributive property in a real-world problem. We're simplifying an expression with like terms. And lastly, we'll have a real-world expression for perimeter. So, when you're ready, let's get started. We have our expression 7x plus 4y minus 5, and we want to identify our terms, our coefficients, and our constants. Let's first talk about the terms. That's each part being separated by addition or subtraction here. So our first term, we would say, is right here, this 7x. The next term separated by the addition is that 4y. And lastly here, we have the minus 5. The subtraction is like adding a negative 5. And so we can call that term a negative 5 right there. So now we have our three terms. What about the coefficients? The coefficients are the numbers that are in front of our variables, our letters, x and y. So our first coefficient right here is that 7, which is in front of the x. And our second coefficient right here in front of y is a 4. There's no coefficient right there because there's no, well, variable at the end. Lastly, our constants. These are the numbers here without a variable as part of it, and that's just going to be this minus 5 right there by itself. The other terms have variables. So our constant is negative 5. There's only one of them. And there we have it. We had our expression here, 7x plus 4y minus 5, and we identified the terms, coefficients, and constants of it. Simplify our expression using the distributive property. Our expression is 3 times in parentheses a plus 5, then we have plus 2a on the right. Well, the first thing here is I want to apply the distributive property, this 3 times the a plus 5 in that parentheses. We know inside the parentheses we can't simplify that anymore, so we're going to distribute this 3 to both parts. So the 3 is going to get multiplied by the a and as well as the 5. So first here, we have 3 times the a, that multiplication. Then we're adding that to right here, our 3 times the 5. And then lastly, we just bring down the 2a. Well, now we can simplify this. 3 times an a is a 3a, plus 3 times a 5 is a 15. Then bring down the 2a. Now from here, I want to reorder this to have our like terms next to each other. Since it's all just addition, I can do that. So I see 3a and 2a are like terms. So I'm going to write those first. 3a plus a 2a, our other term. Then bring down the plus 15 at the end. Now lastly, we want to combine our like terms where we can. 3a plus 2a is a 5a. The 15 has no more like terms there, no more constants, so we bring down the 15 with addition there, and that's it. We simplified our expression using the distributive property of 3 times a plus 5, then plus 2a, and we got a 5a plus 15. A store offers a 15% discount on an item priced at P dollars. Write an expression for the sale price. First, let's identify here the original price. They tell us it's P dollars, so let's give it the variable P. P represents the original sale price. What about our discount? We want to find a discount here, and it tells us it's 15%, right? 15% of our original price P. So it's 15% of the value of P. We can write that percent as a decimal, 0.15, and multiply it by P, the price of the original item, original sale price. Now, the sale price, right? It's 15% off. To calculate the sale price, we're going to take our original price, P, minus the discount, which we have here, of 0.15P. Again, it's our original price minus the discount amount will be our sale price. But we can simplify this even more. P, like 1P, minus 0.15P is a 0.85P. 
And so our sale price here is 0.85p. So we wrote an expression for our sale price in our problem here, and we got a 0.85p. Let's simplify the expression 4x plus 6 minus 2x plus 3. I first want to combine my like terms, and to do that, I want to reorder the terms so the like terms are next to each other. So I see my like terms of 4x and a minus 2x right here. And then the other set of like terms, the constants are the 6 and the 3. So let's rewrite this to have the 4x come first, then the minus 2x right there. Then we're going to have our plus a 6, then a plus a 3. Now we can combine our like terms. Our first ones are our ones with variables, 4x minus 2x, that gives us a 2x. Then from here, we can bring down the 6 plus 3. You could combine them right there, but I'm going to show each step individually. Now I want to combine the like terms here, the constants, the 6 and the 3. So I'm going to bring down the 2x, then plus, and a 6 plus a 3 is a 9. And now we have our answer. There's nothing else that we can simplify and combine because they're not like terms anymore. So we simplified our expression and we got 2x plus 9. A rectangle's length is 3 more than twice its width, w. Write an expression for the perimeter. Well, the formula for a perimeter is equal to 2 times the length plus the width for a rectangle here. Now, I want to identify our width and our length, some expression for each one. So our length and our width. Well, the width is going to be easy. It's given to us right there. They just tell us it's W. W represents our width. Let's call it W. The length is the tricky part here. They tell us that our length is 3 more, which is addition. We're adding 3 more then twice its width. So we're going to take twice the width, two times the width here, multiplication there, and then we have three more than that, add three, and that is our length. So that's going to be our L value, and W, <laughs> our W value. So now we can use the perimeter formula. Perimeter is equal to two times, and instead of L, I can write this, our two w plus 3 for our l, and then we add our width to it. We then want to simplify where we can. Well, we want to deal with what's inside the parentheses first. 2 comes down here, parentheses right there. Combining our like terms, we have a 2w and a 1w. Those are our like terms, which is a 3w. Then we bring down the plus 3. There's no more like terms in the parentheses. So now we have to apply the distributive property. This 2 is going to get multiplied by each part inside of the parentheses. So P is equal to 2 times a 3W, which is a 6W. That addition comes here, and then 2 times 3 is a 6. And so now we have an expression for the perimeter, which is 6W plus 6. In this video, we learned about the properties of numbers. We first identified parts of an expression. Then we simplified using the distributive property. We applied the distributive property in a real world problem. We simplified an expression with like terms. And then we found an expression for the perimeter in another real world problem. So now I leave you with this bonus problem here. Can you simplify 7 times 2a plus 4 plus 3 times a minus 4? Put your answer in the comments below. I hope you learned something here now on the properties of numbers, and as always, thanks for watching.